Hi, this is Will of Barbell Cooking. I'm down here at Vino Spokane with Matt, and I came down looking for a wine recommendation for our Thanksgiving dinner. I'm looking for a red and a bubbly to go with braised turkey breast and some stuffing and, you know, most of the normal fixings. So, All right. Matt, what do you got for me? Well, you called ahead and you asked me to pick out a couple cool wines, so mm -hmm. that's what I did. Cool. What do we got first? Got to start with bubbles. My family starts with bubbles. Do you guys start with bubbles? Uh, yes. I think it's a great way to kind of loosen yes. up and, and relax a little bit. Um, you can pick a lot of bubbles. We got a ton of bubbles on the shelf. I picked this one because it has sort of a tongue in cheek joke mm -hmm. to the French. And I think that might be fun. It's fun to tell stories sometimes when you're at the family dinner table and things get a little weird or politics come up. <laughs> You'd be like, oh, yeah. speaking that, of that, politics. That, that one weird uncle. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So, speaking of politics, why is this one called Method 1662? Well, it's widely known that the French invented sparkling wine. I mean, maybe right. you've heard of Dom Perignon. Oh, yes. It's like 100 and 200 and, oh my God, it's like 200 bucks a bottle right now. Yeah. So we didn't pick that for you. Okay. Kind of keep it budget conscious. This is about okay. $15. Okay. So I picked this because it's made in the French method by French winemakers from New Mexico. Now that's a plot twist. Nice. But it's 1662 because that's when the British have documentation of making sparkling wine in England. So. If you're talking New Mexico, you're talking high desert, is that going to make it more bright or balanced or...? Good question. Yeah. So yeah, the New Mexico, people think it's the desert. What are you doing making wine in the desert? Well, this is made in what will suggest it, the high desert. Mm -hmm. So the high desert is cooler climate, still gets all the beautiful sunshine. But yeah, the grapes will be tart and acidic and crisp. That's what you nice. want to make sparkling wine. Mm -hmm. You add a little bit of sugar or a dosage, and that brings it into a range that they call brut. So it's not going to be as bitter as you think. Mm -hmm. It is brut, and it drinks just like that. It's dry and crisp. It's got a lot of layers of textures because it's made with a couple of grapes. Maybe you know already the Pinot Noir and yes. Chardonnay. Absolutely. Pretty typical, pretty yeah, traditional. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, okay, so cool. French method, made by the French in New Mexico, United States with the year that the British invented sparkling wine. I know. I'm all over it. Let's, let's rumble. Right. Let's, get, what else let's get the family table going. All right, what else so for got? a red, you mentioned braising the turkey. Yes. And you're going to have stuffing, mm -hmm. mashed potatoes, and some yep. usual suspects. Yep. All right, this is a very versatile red wine. It's a red blend from Washington State. It's got a cute little picture of a bear, but don't be fooled. It's very full body. This is a Cabernet Merlot mix. Um, made in Walla Walla with Washington fruit. Mm -hmm. uh, it's it's bold and smooth, kind of like Will. <laughs> now, okay, now he's blowing smoke. Spoken phone at you, man. Yeah. Sorry, bro. Not sorry. Yeah, sometimes the bear, sometimes you eat the bear, sometimes the bear eats you. I don't know where I heard that phrase, but I like it. I, I, don't, I don't like it. <laughs> if the bear's eating me, I don't like that phrase like at all, man. Either. But uh, yeah, it's got this cute little picture of a bear cub on there. Uh, it's going to go great with all of the turkey fixings that you were just talking about. Mm. All of the fare on the table. Plus, it goes well with people. It's real easy to drink. Um, what kind not... of percentage are we looking at? So it's a 57% cab, which gives it that structure. Yeah. And it's 43% Merlot, which gives it kind of a suppleness and a, like a richness to it. Merlot is just known for like black cherry kind of mm. essence yeah. uh, in, its, in its profile and how it tastes. And cab is known for like currants, uh, even some chocolate. Okay. Strange, like bittersweet chocolate. Yeah. That's kind of what you might expect from this wine. Well, cool. I'm looking forward to this. This is going to be good. We'll get into this when we get a little bit more serious later on in the night when we eat. So, uh, Great. now that I gave you the recommendations, do I get an invite? Oh, absolutely. I hear you're a chef or something. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't call myself a chef. But Come I, on, I, man. I can cook. <laughs> but thank you very much for tuning in, and uh, we'll catch you soon. Thanks.